I met with Ernie Allen, who at the time was the um, CEO of the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children. And Ernie told me, you know, I asked him, like, I read this story in the New York Times Magazine. Is this true? And he said, well, has it been corroborated? But, you know, these stories do happen, but they're really rare. And I commend, you know, he was like, I commend you for the, the stories that you want to tell, but I really wish you would talk about American kids being trafficked because no one needs to fly to Cambodia or Indonesia to have sex with a child. Um, this happens every single day. Kids are trafficked across state lines in America, American-born children. Atlanta is, you know, a big airport and people from all over the world go, th you know, travel through Atlanta and that is a hub for trafficking people, you know, be it on or offline. Um, you know, one thing we learned through the documentary Playground uh, through a judge in Atlanta is that he was seeing a lot of cases of people coming through Atlanta, you know, just coming in for one, an overnight trip and were able to order boys or girls uh, through an online website. And that was, that was quite shocking. It's really hard to have any type of sex education in schools in America, and we knew there would be a lot of hurdles. But what we thought is like, you know, hey, let's start with one of the cities that we filmed a lot in, and that was Portland, Oregon. And since one of the first cases we followed was a an 11 year old girl from Portland, Oregon, that was sex trafficked from a mall to Vancouver, British Columbia. And and one of the actual shots that are in the film is the hotel where she was trafficked. One of the hotels in Portland, right across the street in the background, there's a football game going on at a, a local high school. So we thought, let's start the pilot of this curriculum at this particular school, which is Madison. And so that's where we first piloted last year uh, for about 700 kids. Um, and we since rolled out the pilot into a second school in Portland. And this fall, we're uh, going to pilot the curriculum at a school in Austin, Texas and Dallas in the spring, New York. And we're hoping to bring the curriculum to South Carolina. There are a lot of people that still doubt that this happens. And, and what I explain is I often like to quote people, you know, colleagues from the FBI and such that, you know, they always tell me like, look, think about it, it's common sense. I mean, you know, when people sell drugs, that used to be the number one problem is with, you know, criminal networks selling drugs, but you sell a drug, somebody takes that drug and it's gone, but you can sell a child over and over again, because to, to, the, to these traffickers, the children are, they're recyclable. And so it's a lot more lucrative. It's a lot more, it's a lot more difficult to prosecute these cases because it's a lot further underground. And the victims don't often recognize themselves as victims. So it just makes it a lot more challenging in terms of law enforcement and all the people that are, that are trying to help these kids. So ideally, we would um, prefer that we we educate these kids and empower them in a way so that they're never victimized. For me, I'm a filmmaker, so I, this is just the way I know to tell stories. I don't really have another medium, but I, I also firmly believe that, you know, we can all pick up the paper and read stories. We can turn on CNN, we can look at the news, and that's, a, that's another form of media, but I feel like documentary film is, is very, very different because it really, you get a lot deeper into the lives of people. It's not, you know, what you see on a, on a news clip, a lot of the times you just get a segment of the story, which is important to like pique people's interest. But when people really want to know more, when they want to be educated, they want to learn, they either have to go on the internet or buy a book. And, and film to me is almost like the easiest way for people just, you know, turn on Netflix or put in the DVD to actually learn on a much deeper level about an issue.